Greetings, my brothers and sisters. This is the Brother Second and Royal the Fourth, coming to you live in Iraq from the Spirit Talk FM studios. And uh, we are here this morning to speak about getting rid of the law that makes people who possess marijuana criminals. Now, I've written something that I want the public to hear, and I think that the government of Jamaica should hear. It says, if you the governments of the world who prosecuted its citizens for marijuana in their history have now come full circle in your views on this matter, to now say that you finally recognize the benefits of this herb, both economically and medicinally, should you not remove the law that made your citizens criminals. For possession and growing of this multi-purpose and economically beneficial herb, Remove the law that made so many citizens live in fear and a negative light to the public. Remove the law that caused crime and violence to be part of the herb market and industry. Remove the law that made you trillions by fines and by seizure and foreclosure of properties and possessions of those you arrested for marijuana. Remove the law. The foot dragging and delays of full legalization says to us, the people, that you don't respect our intelligence as the common people. And though many might have their personal preferences in political parties or part we's, we must today in this important time call these politicians to task. The world is going pot, herb, ganja, and the country respected for the best can't even get a footing into the market yet. The government of this country that produced the best marijuana corn to the rest of the world can't seem to get their pants on or their skirt on right, properly. Maybe because it's not made out of hemp. Anyway, it says, if they are, and if they are, putting things into process, it's for the big guys and the big pharmaceutical guys, okay? It's not for the common man. The laws they're bringing in and, and the ideas they're getting ready to implement with like Cannabis International or some stuff like that is going to keep the criminalization of the common people going. They refuse to stop taking money from us for spliffs and our lives. Rest in peace, Mario Dean. Now, it says, remove the law that allows you to continue um, <laughs> ignoring the voices and the wishes of majority of the citizens of Jamaica. Remove the law, remove it. We want marijuana to be legal where we can produce all form of hemp products. 50,000 textile products can be produced from marijuana hemp, just the stick of the herb. Jamaican people, get on board, okay? Rasta telling a long time that herb was the healing of the nation. And now we recognize that Rastafari 
who stood in the fray, in the battle, who was constantly pers prosecuted, persecuted, arrested, harassed, okay, by the police, okay, by the government of Jamaica in all formats, tearing down our living uh, areas, Baka Wall, shanty towns that we put up, they would attack anywhere that Rasa tried to develop, okay, Pinnacle, you know, and here we are today, now that they are recognizing that marijuana is all we said it was, we don't see them putting the Rastafari up front, okay? We don't see them saying Rastafari should be the ones that own these businesses that they're trying to now generate and create in Jamaica. How dare them. Remove the law that makes the Rastafari still harassed for his sacrament and medicine. Remove the law. Just remove the dumb law. Next, remove the law so that we don't talk about licensing for marijuana. The only, and think about this, licensing and, and, and legalities on certain levels that need to be dealt with is people who are going to produce medicine. Medicinal marijuana, according to you, is the only part of this that needs to be legalized on a level of licensing because it's medicinal according to you and a doctor needs to have a license so if a person is going to get involved in medicinal marijuana i agree he should have some licensing to so that he don't produce nonsense and give it to the people but for those people we're just gonna grow it those people were just gonna produce marijuana regularly no 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 they don't need no licensing and all of that they're just marijuana growers. The person that's going to separate and do processing and remove this and that, that's a different cup of tea. See, marijuana just grown in Jamaica indigenously. We didn't separate no THC or CBDs. We smoked the whole thing. We used the whole plant. Okay, this is a different avenue we're speaking about. Remove the law. Okay, that makes marijuana illegal when you now say that it's a great herb. You, the governments of the world, is getting rich off of marijuana and Jamaica is dragging its foot when we have the best ganja. That makes no damn sense to me. See, you were smuggling it. You were shipping it out by the tons under the cover while you made it illegal. You, you, you took people's property when you locked them up, foreclosed on their houses and their cars and their, when you caught them for ganja and, and, and stuff. America, Jamaica, all over. You made trillions of dollars already. Now you're getting ready to make quadrillions of dollars. What about, I don't know, I think I said uh, uh, quadrillion. After three. Whatever, you're gonna make a bag of money. And as PJ Patterson said, that dude that while in his office, in his tenure, was, was, was responsible for how many people being arrested for marijuana, he's now, they're talking about, it's not monkey money we're talking about. We're, you know, this is not chicken feed money, you know. This is big money, you know. You're just trying to so-called put all these legalizations still on marijuana on a level to make where you can tax everyone that grows one tree on the, on the island or on the planet. One seed, actually, that's the, really what it's being broken down to because marijuana actually remains the only really free seed at this point. You know what I'm saying? That we could get a whole multiple amount because the rest of it, Monsanto and them is genetically modified. You know what I'm saying? And while I'm on this <clears throat> topic, I'm going to read something else that I wrote for the nation. Okay? It says, Bless that love.
And uh, give me a second. It says, we the sons and daughters of our surrogate mother Jamaica, true children of the great mother of El Kebulan Africa, grown from the soil of this island spiritually linked to every grain of dirt. The creatures, the trees, the rivers, the seas that surround us, our ancestors, forced here during the Ma'afa or the great disaster called enslavement of European shadow slavery of us the Africans, worked to death, beaten to death, raped to death, hung to death by the neck, split in two by two horses going in two different directions boiled in giant cauldrons of oil, eaten, castrated. Pregnant African mothers disemboweled in bets of what gender the child in her womb would be when it fell from the lynched black mother to the earth. And if still alive, the loser used his boot heel to crush the skull of that African child. I gave you this gruesome depiction of our ancestors' terrifying ordeal to etch into your mind's eye the grim reality of what our ancestors suffered then. Fed up of this inhumane, demonic, evil being, perpetrated against us, rose up all over and put down that oppression and suppression of our natural human rights just to exist free and equal on this planet. As free citizens of Jamaica, we must recognize the power of our voices, the voice of the people. If majority of people say no and the government says yes and we the people allow that, we leave the door open for tyranny and dictators. We must make it absolutely clear to every public servant that they are just that, a public servant. We need the Citizens Government Performance Review Board, which means we the citizens will review the performance of each politician in our government, which grades each office of the government's performances. We must have a national vision for our island and our global position in this world. We must immediately begin to develop friends and the leaders of the world to support our national agenda and vision of our country. We must begin to redirect our nation's focus on home, the opposite of going abroad. Our people seek greener pastors because those who were in the government use foreign as a distraction while they robbed the nation and sold out the island to get riches for themselves. So all that idea about going to foreign, everybody was flying out, is because of what these people did. They put the squeeze on the island. They made it rough and hard. They put the squeeze and tightened the noose. So we ran out of here while they sold out Jamaica's belly, bauxite, and the whole island, all the sea front now and all that. So wake up, people. Wake up. Okay, remove the law that criminalizes the citizens of Jamaica for marijuana. We don't want no more government involvement than that. Just take the law off the book. Period. Okay, you allow cigarettes, poison, chemical, uh, 300 different chemicals is in one cigarette. And it's sold all around the place. And marijuana is just grown in, in the bush and don't not even touched in your you're your, your trying to what you the people of Jamaica we have the power we could say that the next one in the next election we ain't voting for none of you unless you put marijuana remove the law that criminalized I and I brothers and sisters and cousins and aunties and grandparents and people who still sell herbs Free up the herb, man. 
Remove the law. Remove that law. That's all that we need. We don't need y'all to do nothing else. And run things, make business go on. We'll get into medicinal marijuana. Who want to get licensed to do that? But don't mess with the rest of the herb. Sankofa, my brothers and sisters, second and raw the fourth, also known as Ras Dawit.